Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Minister Will Meyer of Manchester. Hi, this is Will Meyer from Awakening Destiny. In our past two sessions, we talked about why it's important to find your voice, and we talked about how important your relationship is with Jesus, abiding in Him and His Word. Also, how your Creator created you and how He knows best about who you are. And as you learn more about who you are, it becomes easier to express your voice. Today, we are going to talk about identity. This is a popular topic because it's a key factor in learning how to authentically live a sustainable and fruitful lifestyle in Jesus. Your identity is core to who you are, and it is what God made you to be. We are going to read a passage from Psalm 139, verses 14 through 15. I praise you, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you, and when I was made in the secret place, and when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. You are awesomely and wonderfully made with God's own divine design and purpose. You are one of a kind. In order for us to find our voice and live out God's purposes in our lives, we need to know who we are in Christ. From the book of Ephesians, we can draw upon those realities. We are his beloved. We are seated in Christ in heavenly places. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which he foreordained before the foundations of the world. In 1 Peter 1, 9, it says, We are called a royal priesthood, a holy nation. These are verses that define who we are. We are a royal kingly priesthood seated with Christ in heavenly places. These verses and many others point to who we are in Christ. That is what our identity is. Paul exhorted us to pray that God would reveal and enlighten our eyes that we might know the riches of the inheritance that is in the saints. There is another layer we can unpack. Within our God-given identity in Christ, we have unique gifts, desires, dreams, personality traits, and God-given motivations that make us tick. When we live from our identity in Christ, we live our lives from the inside out rather than the outside in. Our identity is our internal reference of who we are so we don't bend or bow down to the world and its standards. If we try to live our Christian life from the outside in, we'll become religious and our relationship with Christ is nothing more than a sophisticated set of rules and regulations. We are called to live our lives from the internal reference point where transformation takes place from the new creation in Christ. When we align ourselves with God about who we are, we can articulate with accuracy our voice. That is his voice working through us, his word, and through our worship. As we pivot in this way, we can sustain our walk with Christ. And we cannot sustain success externally unless we are transformed from the inside out. Lord, help us to connect with you in our God-given identity. Cause us to feel your love as your sons and daughters so that we can be secure in you so that we can live from the inside out and not from the outside in, that our connection would be strong with you and that nothing would move us and that we would reflect your goodness and character in every way. You've been listening to Minister Will Meyer of Manchester, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.